cars around that particular area. Um, so yeah, you can get hack in and get a focus, which is basically like a slow-mo effect, which I didn't actually use at any point, but apparently it's very useful. So that can be used during like combat, during gun combat, or you can actually do it while you're driving, so you can actually slow-mo, turn around and like hack the helicopter or hack a, a bridge or whatever you want to do. And it actually sounds very useful. I might pick it quite quickly when I do my walkthrough. And then we come to the combat category. So it's got stuff like focus. You have to actually unlock focus originally and obviously adapt it and improve it as well. Um, you get blast radius with the bombs. You get stuff like reload speed. How many weapons you can carry. So combat is quite an important category to look at. Um, but it's been interesting to see how you guys go about like making your own Aiden Pierce. So basically skill points, certain skills cost more points. You get skill points for like finishing off missions and stuff like that. Which is quite interesting to see how that will work but uh, I think one mission gave me like five skill points so I could unlock some of the smaller skills but obviously if you adapt and make them better they will cost more skill points as you go along so it wasn't complete enough to plain sailing for the game there's no shooting outside of cars so once you're inside the car you can't shoot at all you can't throw bombs you can't do anything all you can do is hack hack traffic lights hack uh, pillars and spikes and stuff that's all you can do you can't throw bombs you can't shoot which, which actually felt quite strange because all these sort of games like Saints Row, GTA and 